Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound. Hi everyone. In, in this uh, presentation, I'm going to talk about a common uh, issue that uh, we deal every day with that and uh, many academic centers, they don't teach uh, this uh, topic and that is heart rate uh, variability or bit to bit variation there are a little dif there is a little differences between these two term heart rate variability is only the changes the heart rate that we measure r to r and we will see from one bit to one bit is different but bit to bit variation is more accurate because even in some situation r to r is not changing but contractility of the ventricle will be different as this in this case we can see this patient has heart rate over 130 to 40 but and the r to r we measure is the equal patient has uh, almost a fib uh, sorry, atrial flutter with the constant and regular ventricular response, high ventricular response. But if you can see here on those uh, three windows, two, four, and three chamber, from each bit to another bit, the contractility and ejection fraction by eyeball guessing it will be different especially on this two contrast study you can see in this uh, two bits uh, you will see contractility is very good actually hyperkinetic but in the a few second bits later you can see is this even heart rate is the same uh, the contractility will be different so that we have bit to bit bit to bit variation wide uh, bit to bit variation so in this situation how we go approach and measure those important measurement including ejection fraction and those valvular disorder for grading especially what is the rule for uh, in, in this situation especially as we know patient with afib or flutter uh, they have bit to bit variation, wide bit to bit variation, or patient with the autonomic dysfunction, including diabetic people, or those heart transplant. We will see in those situations bit to bit uh, variation a lot, and they are significant. What we have to do in those situations. And second, on this case, as you can see in this two, uh, do you think this is two chamber view or not? What is your landmark? Just is extra tip on this lecture. As you can see here, in these uh, bits, the EF is low. You can really notice on this one, even they are almost uh, a few seconds after each other. Uh, separate from each other which one we use this one we have to use for the ejection fraction or even if we go uh, frame by frame we want we go for the strongest one or weakest one what is the rule in this situation and as you can see ejection fraction is uh, measured in four and two chambers uh, around 40 to 45 is that correct with those 2D images or not? And what is the rule? It's the same for the uh, Doppler study. Now let's go for the explanation. First, let's see a short review for those two uh, terms. 